Okay, continuing on with looking at ways to non-destructively edit, I'm gonna show you how to cut this person out using layer masks, all right? So what I wanna do is just duplicate this layer. I'm just gonna hit Command-J and duplicate the layer and turn off the background layer so that you can see uh, the transparency behind it when we start to cut her out. And let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and click these little squares to make sure I have my default colors here. And I'm gonna come up here to my uh, quick selection tool and I'm just gonna start to select out this person. All right, like so. Okay, and as you can see, we've got some problems here. Um, it's having a hard time telling that shadow right there from the wall. Okay, that's actually not so bad. Let's see what else here. This finger is not selected. Okay, and it didn't select anything inside of here, so let's do that. Um, let's see here. We've got our lip selected, and that's not good. That's a bit better. I wonder if I could... Eh. Close enough, okay? We're gonna do a nice job cutting this person out, but let's see. Whoops, let's deselect that, like so. Um, I wanna get as close as we can, though, but we don't have to get super close because we're gonna refine this some. All right, now, some problems I see. Um, this is pretty jagged. That's not gonna look very realistic. What else here? Um, we're not even selecting this hair here. That's an issue. Um, it's kind of sticking out a little weird right whoops a little weird right there we'll fix that not even selected what else oh right here okay that's selected okay that's going to be solid but we want to actually you know get rid of that area in there as well and that's probably it okay this is a pretty hard thing to cut out because of the hair all right so i'm going to come up here to refine edge all right now i have lots of different options here right on black on white uh, the red overlay I use a lot. Marching ants, which is, of course, the selection line. All right, I'm going to keep this on overlay. All right, and that's what we're going to use for now. And um, there's lots of adjustments here. Okay, so let's take a look at this now. Um, Photoshop is pretty smart, okay, and it, it's, it's trying, right? Right now it's showing you what we've selected. We can actually refine this edge. Okay, we have two different options here, erase refinement or refine the radius tool. Now I'm going to use the refine radius tool come down here and just tell Photoshop this is the edge I was going for can you help me out and just kinda you know you don't have to be accurate with it you are just telling Photoshop look at this area again okay and it got a little bit better okay and you can actually hit hold down alt option and kind of erase any refinements in here that you don't want and we're gonna make a lot more adjustments than this still okay there's, there's always lots of steps to this but it's a little bit better selection you can see how there's red in here okay all right, that's just showing that the black's showing through and it's gonna look a little bit nicer. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here and just kind of let Photoshop know that this is the edge I'm dealing with. All right, and it's gonna adjust to that and say, okay, I'm gonna hold down my refine, erase refinement tool and just kind of clean that edge up a little bit on the inside. And this is where things get tricky. All right, so I'm gonna kind of paint in that hair a little bit like so, just this part here. Okay, and let's just, just like so and see what happens. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to come in here and hold down the uh, draw in right there. Like so. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, there's going to be red showing through. You want that because that's going to look more realistic. Uh, let's come down here. Um, that's pretty nice. I want that cleaned up. Let's see, I want this cleaned up. I'd love it if we could just go like that and grab that hair lip that's not looking so good and the chin's not looking so good there we go it's a little bit better now I'm gonna go ahead and just get in here and say no not quite all right um, we're gonna clean up this edge a little bit like so all right Photoshop is being pretty smart all right and again just clean up those pixels on the side there all right, I don't want to take forever doing this, although you should take forever cutting out all of your uh, images in Photoshop. Okay, that's obviously not going to work. We have to say, hey, pay attention to the knuckles a little better, Photoshop. All right, and that's pretty close. I may clean that up a touch. All right, and then we'll do a couple other techniques here to deal with the edges as well. Um, that one's going to be a pretty obvious one there. Is it so sharp? Same with that there, really sharp edge. Really want that to clean up some. You can see it does a pretty good job. Just like that, I mean, it's really, we're being pretty fast, right? And, and it's looking all right. Now there's some other things that we can do to this, okay? 
we have these other options up here. Whoops. Whoa. For example, um, we can smooth this out some, okay? And that, I wouldn't smooth this out too much right now, okay? But you can actually smooth out your, what's essentially your marching ants, okay? See how it's kind of jagged? If you smooth it out too much, it'll start to just round out. But there's times when smoothing it out is really good. Feathering, there's times when that's really great if you're blending. Okay, you can actually turn the contrast up a little bit. And really, in this case though, I bet I don't want it up too much. But go ahead and experiment. It's gonna really depend on your photo, all right? And you can also hit this decontaminate colors. And what the decontaminate colors will do is it'll actually, there's a bit of a reflection that happens. Um, I mean, if, you're, if you've ever worked with somebody in front of a green screen, you know all about that reflection. But really, when you're cutting out an object, there's going to be a little bit of reflection of the color coming off onto that object. And what this does is it actually decontaminates it. It'll recognize the edge that you're separating, and it'll fill it in with the pixel color that's around um, your selection, or that's within your selection near that edge. Okay, it's just being smart like that, all right? And obviously, that, I think that's actually fine for a cut. Now, okay, and if you see down here where it says output, I'm going to output to a new layer with mask. You have a lot of selections here. We're going to do new layer with mask. All right, I'm going to hit OK. And see that? Pretty nice, huh? Just made a layer mask like that. Now, here's the cool thing. That did a pretty good job cutting this out. I've got some problems with this for sure, but this wasn't bad. Okay, now, um... Because I'm on the layer mask, if I select layer mask, I can come in here and do some nice layer mask style edits. For example, I can have a black brush. I can come up in this. And anywhere, that, look at that, it actually retains some of that hair. That's actually pretty impressive, right? Look at that. All right, just for a cutout like this. And of course it looks jagged up close, but if you go down to 100%, that's a pretty nice cut, all right? But I'm gonna look for little areas I see problems. I see one right there. That does not look good. Okay, it just doesn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fill it back in. See that, I can just paint that thing right back in like that. Shrink my brush down, flip it over to black, and I'm gonna just brush that area out, okay? Make my brush real small, all right? And this is one way to do it. I tend to use pen tool a lot, but um, yeah, that's actually a, a nice cutout right there. And of course, when you zoom way out, that's gonna be just fine. All right, obviously we could not grab back here. I didn't even want to try. Okay, it's just too dark. That shadow on her neck and the shadow on the wall, no way. All right, and if I just kind of make this small and just kind of do a pretty good job cutting this out like so, all right, yes. Cutting things out cleanly, that's, uh, it's very important, all right? And you just want to take your time doing it, all right? And I'm kind of flying through this because I don't want to, you know, make a 45-minute tutorial of me just slowly cutting out the perfect hairline on this person for you because you won't watch it. But you get the idea. This is the technique, and it's a really nice technique, and it's really forgiving. Let's say, oh, you didn't want to do that. You needed to fix this part here. Easily can just paint this right back in like that, all right? non-destructive editing in Photoshop. All right, so that's another example of using layer mask to cut something out. Lots of different options there. You're just gonna pick out the ones that work best for you and the ones that work best for the particular situation. Okay, so there are different instances when specific ways to cut things out are going to be more efficient and do a better job. For example, cutting out this woman's hair, that's a pretty tough cut. I mean, you could do that pixel by pixel with an eraser, but yeah, good luck. All right, so um, that is non-destructive editing. Get used to doing non-destructive edits in Photoshop. You will really, really, really regret doing destructive edits on really complicated compositions and then realizing later that you want to change something.